Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be starting our series of Descendants reviews, starting with the core basic dolls. And I'm choosing Red because she's my favorite, even though she kind of looks like Colleen Ballinger. Toxic gossip train. If you just squint the slightest, it's no big deal. This is actually my first ever Descendants doll review on my channel. Now, I will always be Team Everett or High because duh. But now that Mattel is making the Descendants dolls the irony of it all, I want to see if they are better than the Hasbro ones that came out a few years ago. Let's be real, any dolls better than Hasbro. Aww. I got Red on Walmart's website for $24.99, and these dolls have not popped up in America in stores. But if you live in the UK or Australia, check your toy stores, they are there. All that out of the way, a lot of people have been saying that the boxes remind them of Way to Wonderland Ever After High dolls, and yeah, I see it. It's probably because of all the checker print and that, you know, Red is a Wonderlandian if she was in Ever After High. The box design this time around is just a little hard, and it isn't too special. But then again, I've never really been attracted to the Descendants doll boxes in the past. There really isn't anything else in the box other than the doll and a little card that says she's the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. There's just a little lining bow on the side of the box. Then on the bottom, it shows a picture of the actress that plays Red, along with the Descendants Rise of Red logo. If we turn the box to the back, we have some information on Red's character. It says Red is the daughter of the Queen of Hearts. This robot heart is ready to change history. Then next to it, we have a full blown picture of Kylie who plays Red in the new movie. Not gonna lie, this is the first time I'm like really looking at the outfit and it's not the best. I feel the costuming department did not do a good job on this movie compared to the first movie, but that's just my opinion. But if you're looking for Red or any of the other dolls, I'm gonna show you their barcodes in the video. So go ahead, take a screenshot and let the hunt begin, I guess. But now that we pretty much looked at this box, let's get her open and see what she's giving. I want to know what her body type's going to be like, if it's similar to the Disney princesses, all that kind of stuff. So let's open her, shall we? Now that Red is out of the box, let's look at everything that she came with, which is just one little thing. This super tiny little pocket watch, which I believe is a big prop in the movie. At the time of this recording, the movie has not come out yet. Like we're a week before the movie. So we'll probably see a lot of this soon. But now that we pretty much looked at her one accessory, let's start talking about her, shall we? So right off the bat, she has Saran hair, which is a win for me. I was kind of worried it was gonna be Polly, but it looks like they put the budget into the hair. So that's good. Red has red crimped hair. It's not crimped the best. As you can see, there's some spots that are just kind of straight and some that are really nice. With a nice boil wash, she'll be nice and neat with the crimps. She also has two space buns in the front of her hair. I just realized this doll has the same exact hairstyle and hair texture as Barbie Extra. <laughs> Moving down to Red's head, she has some red painted baby hairs, some dark eyebrows. She doesn't really have on any eyeshadow, but she does have a brown eyes. And she does have red lips that I do wish were a darker red color. I'm not the biggest fan of how they did the face, and I can't wait to see some customizers work on her. Moving on to her outfit. As I mentioned, I'm not the biggest fan of the color costumes in this movie so far. But let's see how Mattel did the outfit. Red is wearing this red puff sleeve jacket that is made of a glossy fake leather. It's surprisingly the best piece on this doll. It even has some elastic to bunch it up so that it stays put. It also has some flaps for a fake pocket and it also bunches up on the bottom and it looks really, really nice. It also has that one ribbon that Mattel likes to use to emulate a fake zipper. I wish they used this material on the pants to add some different elements of fabric, but they didn't. The jacket also has a cute little collar and if you flip it to the back, there is a little logo that is Red's little heart. I didn't actually notice this in the promo picture, so that was actually really cool. Once I take the jacket off, you can see that the mesh sleeves are actually part of the shirt. The shirt is made of this athletic kind of polyester that has some red sleeves, and I expected the print on the top to be part of the main thing, but it's actually a separate piece of fabric that they sewed to the red one where the hearts are at. Speaking of hearts, she has three of those little hearts on her chest that are the same that were on the back of her jacket. The fishnet is actually attached to the sleeves, which would have been cool if it was a separate piece but if you want to, you can seam rip it and have separate sleeves. Moving down on the main shirt, you can see there's a piece of overlapping material to kind of give that like overlaying shirt vibe. The top one is kind of snakeskin like and the bottom one is just some hearts in a kind of like designer print pattern. And the edges are actually hemmed. I will say that the shirt has a bit too much patterns going on. It's just a little bit busy and the shirt just Velcros off. 
One thing that did surprise me out of the box is that she has two belts on and they're not just one big giant bulky piece. They are the exact same belt, one just being black and one being red with a little bit of gold on it. And you can take them off by simply unsnapping them. Now the dolls do come with removable gloves. Hers are black and have a little heart cut out. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of these plastic gloves. I kind of preferred when they molded them onto the hands. They just were less bulky. They kind of get in the way of the wrist articulation. Let me know in the comments if you like the removable gloves or if you liked the molded before. Moving onto Red's pants. As you can see, they're very, very cheap and very thin. They are the same material as the top, which is kind of like a costume feeling material. They do flare out and have a little slit so you can see her shoes, but I do think the top portion of the pants should have been a black fake leather, just like the actual costume, because this material is just very, very cheap. But they're basically black and red pants that have some kind of little slits of red and that exact print that was on her shirt, but in the middle for some reason. And this is what the top portion of the pants it's like nothing special no special stitching no pockets nothing and they just velcro in the back i really do wish that they invested in some quality materials for the main outfit and not just the jacket because it does feel like a halloween costume you would get at party city so i guess you could be twinsies now i do actually like her shoes are these black boots that have red bottoms and i am going to paint some detail into them because they are supposed to have silver apparently but all in all a pretty cool boot now if you're not into doll nudity some people want to see what the new descendants bodies are going to look like so i'm going to just robe miss red here huh? and show you what it looks like so let's go red so her body is pretty much the disney princess body that mattel introduced to us last year but it's fully articulated speaking of articulation the dolls can move at their head but they can't really look down too too well they can move at their shoulders elbows wrists hips and knees. They don't have a chest joint, which kind of sucks because G3 dolls have it, but I'm not too mad at that. Speaking of G3, let's do some comparisons, shall we? So I originally thought the heads were pretty big on the Descendants dolls, but seeing this made me rethink it. I brought out Dracula and Frankie because they are two different heights, and you can see that red is kind of in the middle of both of them. Bringing in a Barbie and a Disney Princess Mattel doll, she would definitely be able to share the same clothes as the Disney Princess because it is the same body. As for Barbie, you might not be able to fit into Model Muse clothes, but you might be able to squeeze into some play line. And for giggles, I brought out a rainbow high doll. Who are you? I'm Pam. Who are you? you? Might be able to get away with putting some of their clothes on them. When it comes to shoes, G3 shoes are a bit too loose on the dolls, while G1 ones fit pretty well along with Disney Princess shoes from Mattel. But guys, that is pretty much the end of the overview of Red, but now we are going to move on to the bathroom and wash her hair real quickly. Welcome to the tiny but nicer bathroom. I would put her in a robe, but I have no clue where I put those, so she's just gonna have to be naked. What? So my red really does not have any crimps left in her hair. It's kind of just straight. So I'm just going to wash her and boil it and see how the hair goes. I might re-add them eventually, but it's not a priority right now. It's really not. Now again, your doll might not be the same as yours may just have more crimps. Mine was just kind of straight in some sections and crimped around it. It was just kind of weird. So she's just going to get boiled and it's probably going to actually help it. Now, I actually really want to start filming in this bathroom, but my only issue is that it is kind of dark in there. So I do have to bring my studio lights in here and then it's just really crowded so i'm debating if i'm going to start filming in here but we'll see we'll see now recently i rewatched all the descendants movies and that one crappy wedding special that i'm sorry descendants fans but that was really unnecessary and the animation was just not good but the movies are all right they're not great once again i am such a big ever to high fan because like they just did it better and i'm really hoping that rise of red will actually be better than the first three movies because i will say the first one was really cute but the second and third the third especially was really unnecessary it was just kind of bad so hopefully this movie had time to like actually make a good plot the budget already looks great for the production but yeah definitely let me know if you're gonna be watching the new movie down below but red's ready for a boil wash though i have crimped saran hair in the past and i'm honestly super tempted to bring out my crimper and just fix up her hair but right now we're just trying to relax it and make it look all uniform and even you could kind of tell every time i lift it it looks a lot better and i am using that y tube comb again to make sure that i'm not brushing it out too too much but anyways i'm gonna let her dry now and we'll see how she looks afterwards. The last thing I'm gonna do is chrome up her little shoe details because she has some really great ones. And if you can see on the box, there are supposed to be silver. So going in with my Moloto liquid chrome pen, I'm going to do so. Make sure you use this chrome pen if you wanna get a great result. Don't use the cheap stuff. And I'm basically just coloring over the little studs. I didn't know what this was until like I saw it and it's just like a cute little horror. Then from just a side glance I could see in the photo, she also had these also chromed up. So I just went ahead and did those as well. And this is how the shoes ended up looking like. They look a lot better and I wish I had like a paint to paint the laces, but that's, a, that's an eventually project, okay? <laughs> 
Okay guys, she is finally all customized and her hair is still a little wet, but that's good enough for me to finish this review. But before I do that, I want to show you just what I did a little different to her. It's nothing major. I gave her a nose ring because in her promo photos, she does have a nose ring in, so she needs a nose ring. And honestly, it looks so cool. It was a pain to do, so if you guys want to know how I did it, let me know in the comments below. I also painted in the studs on her gloves. They are that chrome paint that I like to use. I will link it in the description below. Trust me, that is the one you want to use. It's not like the other ones that are pretty bad. And then I also chromed up the details on her shoes. As you can see, they're super reflective, and honestly, they give them a lot more life than they previously had. Customization aside, I would love to reroute a red doll with like nylon hair, give her longer, thicker hair, along with do my own crimps. So maybe I'll do that eventually. Let me give you my final thoughts on the red doll, and we can end this video. I feel like this doll had a lot of potential if the quality of the outfit was just a smidge better. Like I said, I really enjoy the jacket, and I do wish that they use that material just a little bit into the pants and maybe even on the shirt a little because there are some qualities that I'm seeing that Hasbro did that Mattel is doing now. They just have better hair and better bodies and better faces. <laughs> I do think Mattel has some room to wiggle and, and get feedback to make these dolls just a ton better, especially if they're going to make more movies or even shows out of this new Descendants era. But anyways, I'm excited to check out the other dolls regardless. I'm going to give this doll a 6.5 out of 10 stars just because the quality of the clothes is just not that great. G3 dolls clothes feel a little better and they're the same price. I'm going to link her down below in case you do want her. Again, she's $24. She's only available online at the moment in the United States. In the UK and Australia, people have found them in their local toy stores. But anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts on Descendants, Descendants 4. Have you ever watched the movies? Do you like the music? Do you like the dolls now or did you like them before? Let me know all your thoughts on Descendants. We've never had a discussion about Descendants on this channel. <laughs> if this is your first time watching my channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh, and I'd love you to subscribe and join the cornflakes. Make sure if you do subscribe to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Like this video and comment a queen emoji if you've made it this far. I will see you guys in the next video, which should be Bridget, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But until then, bye.